Hello everyone and welcome to the third part of the character setup um, from the single mesh base character. Um, so in this uh, tutorial um, I will set uh, my spider as a new character, not as a replacement of the archer model. And to do that we will need a a uh, few more changes uh, be, uh, compared to what we seen uh, in the previous video. So firstly we don't need any more this uh, render mesh models demo. I can simply disable and I can set a new again to duplicate my render mesh models which was default. So I can duplicate Let's drag it up a little bit and let's name it spider full. full. So it will be as a new model, yes? Okay, so firstly as we are here now, uh, let's make it actually happening. So, um, so let's save it and uh, to do that, I need to add model. Uh, it creates a new model in render mesh models, so I'm working on a copy now. And of course, I need to not to forget to disable the, the first one. Um, and here, let's put spider. So now it's it's still empty because I need to add lots level of details. So I can add one load which is my spider, so uh, if I just drag in here, um, I could get it here. Now I can remove loads as well, so if I click this one, it uh, it is gone again, so I, I can add again the spider. So now, the next thing, uh, the basic setup should be just fine, just don't forget to increase distances, so uh, the first one is the um, uh, the minimum distance at which load is displayed and the next one is the maximum. So let's put uh, these 2000 like we did with that one so it will be displayed all the way to the horizon. Um, save. Um, now okay, uh, it will be rendered if I will call uh, through, some, through some scripts that it would be uh, that it would be rendered so what I can do here is to set a new unit um, inside um, inside uh, I need firstly to create a new prefab so we will be creating a prefab and then we will be setting between RTS units uh, next two steps. Uh, okay, let's open up your RTS and go into prefabs. Open it up and go into RTS units. Now we need probably the easiest way is to pick one of the existing prefabs and base my um, and base my spider uh, on on these ones. So this time I want that. Um, let's say. Which one I want? Let's pick. Um, let's pick swordsman model, um, <clears throat> which is this one. Drag into the scene, and here is my swordsman. Now let's make let's change it to spider. Uh, now this is just a prefab. It doesn't contain any information about what it will be rendering. Um, so now I can, uh, I have a spider and I need to break prefab instance through game object, break prefab instance. This will um, unlink um, the game object from the prefab. And now if I drag this back again into RTS units, it will create a new prefab. Um, okay, let's go ahead and drag it like that. So I have this spider model here. 
which is based now on all parameters which we had um, in Archer. Okay, so if everything is, um, if, if, uh, with Swordsman, sorry, not Archer. Um, if everything is set, we can set the second part uh, to register this RTS unit uh, in RTS Manager, in RTS Master. So there I had 19 units. Uh, let's add one more. It will be. It would make 21. And the 21st will be my spider model. So if I just drag spider here, uh, it would make this model to appear as um, 20th unit. Yes. Okay, very good. Let's save it up. But uh, it doesn't have still information that it should be rendering as a spider. Because what it has, it has unit name as a swordsman. And the most important one is model name as a swordsman. So this one is uh, unit animation is actually the one which um, is calling... Uh, RTS models and informing that I want to render at this game object a spider model not something else and I guess everything else should be fine so um, what we need to do is only to change names spider here and spider there uh, the last thing to do is uh, when it spawns unit, it doesn't know which RTS unit ID it uh, corresponds to. So uh, there is this RTS unit ID, which I also need to, to change. So uh, this one is the number in uh, its inverted copy of, of this thing. So it would be uh, RTS unit ID uh, number 20. So if I get back to spider and I change this 20, we would be ready to go. So let's go ahead in... Um, firstly, I forgot one more thing. I need to spawn these units. So if I go to, uh, again here, to where I spawning them, spawn quick armies. And I change this one to 20. I should be finally ready to go with spiders as a new units. Let's say the scene. Um, I suspect crash will occur now. Um, okay, let's click run. Okay. Okay, if I press Q, I will get spawned with spider models and it writes spider here, as you see. Um, but now, I still have some problems with the icon and, and so on. Uh, it even uh, it even doesn't move because it hasn't been uh, registered um, properly. Um, another quick uh, quick way to do that. Um, so we quick quick and dirty way would be to just to play with names to quickly solve it. Um, but I will be going through another video um, to show how to uh, how to register the icon and the name more properly that um, that it will be uh, spawning with spiders properly. Okay, uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.